Like a bullet from a gun, she arrived on the scene. A young detective who doesn't know the meaning of fear when she's hot on the case. No time to waste when you're face to face with the evil that is lurking, but you just can't see it. Persist, persevere, and the problem will disappear. You say you're in a jam and you don't know what to do. Get down with the Drew Crew. Her mind all the time when she's solving a mystery. Bad boys and girls, your history locked up. Well, your choices are few. A resident of a room without a view. Do the crime and it's time you will do. Another victim of the true crew. If you guys can hear me, let me know and we'll start the stream.
All right, guys, we will now begin the live stream. This is part two of the Nancy Drew Mega Marathon. Welcome, guys. My name's Hugh Miller, and today we'll be continuing, like I just said, the Nancy Drew Mega Marathon in preparation for Nancy Drew number 33, Midnight in Salem. This is a live stream in front of a live audience. Uh, right now, all I can see is that V Budkey is here. Welcome, V Budkey, v Budkey to the stream. For those, of you, for those of you guys watching on YouTube, uh, welcome to the stream as well. Uh, it's good to see you guys, even though I can't see you. Um, it's good to have you guys watch this. But yeah, uh, tonight's game that we, are be, we will be streaming is Secret, Secrets... Uh, holy cow. I've had so many problems with speaking today. Tonight's game is Secrets Can Kill Remastered. Last week we did Secrets, uh, Secrets Can Kill, and this week we'll be doing the remastered version of that game. Oh, welcome Melissa to the stream. And yes, it is me. And yeah, so now... We shall adjust a couple of things, but first, we need to sh we need to share this hashtag, guys. Mid isn't dead. Her interactive released yesterday. That tomorrow, tomorrow I don't, I don't know when tomorrow, but tomorrow, which is Friday the twelfth of August twelfth, twenty sixteen, they'll be releasing character a sneak peek of the character concept art from Midnight in Salem. In other words, mid isn't dead. It's still happening. It's going to be amazing. Welcome Zeph to the stream. And I, I... I don't know. What's up, Alyssa? Tell me. I want to know. Anyways. Game video. Don't you love my sweet background I made? Made, made that last night. Took me half an hour or something. I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, anyways. Let's open this up. Uh, we're not playing Message in a Haunted Mansion. We're playing Secrets Can Kill Remastered. You stream today? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, firstly, do you have your streams or do you, on your settings for Twitch? Do you have them as archived, or have you archived your streams? Because. Uh, that way, you can go. We can go back and watch your streams, and you can go put them on YouTube and stuff. Um, but holy cow, that's amazing! I can't rewatch it. Okay, good. It was a hot mess. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, go uh, go follow Oxalissa Z, and she will be streaming. I don't know when. I don't know how often, but she'll be doing it. Good. She archived that. She archived them. That's amazing. All right. Let's begin this mystery. Actually, we should probably put in my headphones so I can listen. Here we go. Play. Dare to play. So this game, Secrets and Killer Master, is Secrets and Kill, but um, as a remastered game with updated graphics, a new ending, new bad guy, and more puzzles. And it is, uh, it's quite a fun game. I like the remastered version way more than the original because the remastered version does not require you to switch discs Hi. every time you want to go to a new location. Excuse. Uh, however, this game does. Not. I mean, the original one does. I'm Nancy but yeah, this is and you are welcome, Ox Alyssa Zed, or I guess Alyssa. Well, she feels down down now with my mom and wet through. Ah, that's funny. Um, yeah, Down Nabby actually is not horrible. Straight up, it's not a horrible show. But yeah, here we go. Uh, is the, how's the audio levels? Are they too quiet? Am I too loud? Should I move some stuff around? Like, move that over there? Just to get stuff all nice and sounding good. Read what's in the file called Case file. Current assignment. A student named Jake Rogers was killed at the hi local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. And that's all. Wow, that's lame. Oh, really? I don't like the way Daryl looks in this game. To be honest, I don't really like the way anybody looks in this game. Except, um... Hal and the Hulk. Connie and Daryl? I don't know, man. Um. Uh, anyways. Sorry, just reading comments here. We shall now begin the game, as I said, multiple times. We were playing on Junior Detective because Senior Detective, there's no point to playing on Senior. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. 
So it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case. Secrets can kill. Love, Nancy. Love, Nancy. All right, let's take this. And oh my gosh, the graphics are so much better in this game. But as we all know, before I start a mystery, I have to customize my phone. Menu. Settings. Color. Obviously purple. Uh, background. Books. Canoeing. Bubbles. Castle Malloy. Dread Isle. Or Hawaii. Um, this one kind of works well. What, what, what uh, wallpaper should I use on my phone, guys? Because, uh, I can't choose, yo. It's, it's hard, man. Obviously purple, that's right. It's gotta, gotta be purple. I almost chose green. And then I, I thought of Alyssa, and I'm like, ah, oh, nah, she'll be happy if I choose purple. So I got purple. But. Just gonna see if you guys decide to respond. And if not, then I'll just stick with the books. Um, or canoeing. I don't know. Books. It's the books. Okay. V Budkey says books. Ooh. Anyways, so there's a note here. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the, to the library is in the safe. Remember not to rent, enter. Uh -huh. Remember not to enter in a wrong combination. Three exclamation marks afterwards. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Green is second best. True that. I will not disagree with that. So here is the combination to the safe, Sigma Phi Kappa Delta, and a calculator. Who who had a calculator like that in the past? Because I never have. I, I, I don't know. They look too old school for me. Beep. Take this, and let's open the jewelry box, slider puzzle thing. So, wait, what is that thing supposed to look like now? Okay, well, I'll figure it out. Great. Okay, oh shoot, I screwed up again, yo. Got him. Yeah. Well, see, when I speak too fast, my words get slurred, and I've just, I've been like that a lot recently, so that kind of, kind of sucks. Um, but yeah. Not a whole lot more to look at in the house here. Man, I never, haven't played Secrets and Killer Mastered in a while. I, at least when I did, I just ripped through it and didn't even take a time to, take time to look around, but man, these graphics are pretty dang good, I gotta say, for, uh for this, uh, era. At least for a remastered version of a very old game. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice to go watch Alyssa's stream. What game did you play? Detective Beach here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. And yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So, what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Like a tarp. What should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll go room. check out your. Oh, you played Sea of Darkness, hey? Oh, wow. I gotta go now. Nice, nice, nice. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Alrighty. So, compared to Secrets Can Kill, Vandalay Pharmaceuticals, which is usually over here, was completely taken out. So, uh, yeah, we don't need to go there anymore. But yeah, we gotta go to Maxine's Diner. Talk to Mr. Our Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh, uh, for a long no, time. Zeph, no mods allowed. How's your... Not now. Maybe Aunt, in the future. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. 
You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Suburban. I understand. The Love you, Jesus. The senior named Jake Rogers. As All right, see you soon, Victoria. Teachers or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching Uncle Steve. his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell Are the audio levels good, or am I too loud, or is the game too quiet, or what? A lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. <laughs> he has a perfect you Steve. I love it. <laughs> uh, it's so funny. Journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Our anything Steve is better, but I mean, the way he looks, he looks like a Steve. Bye, Uncle Steve. Goodbye, Nancy. Um, oh ho. Alright, guys. Now comes a part of the show where we play some Barnacle Blast! Boom! Gluck and start your scrubbing. Boom, boom, boom. Remember the day when we played this for 20 minutes after one stream? I forget what stream it was, though. But we, uh, I was streaming some game, and I, you guys voted that I play this game, and uh, so I did. I totally forgot what game that was. But, okay, good. I just don't want the game to be too quiet for you guys, because I can hardly hear it myself. But that's me. Oh man, so today at work, because I actually have a job, um, my, bo my boss asked me to go and take some labels or stickers off of a, a bunch of lemons, because I work at a small market. And he goes to other farmers markets. Uh, just local markets, and uh, he, had, he asked me to take all these labels and all of these lemons and limes and to go wash them off and all this stuff. So I'm doing that. It took me probably 45 minutes to get it all done. But he's like, isn't that just such a pain in the butt? I'm like, no, nah, it's actually quite relaxing. I really don't mind it. He's like, yeah, I mean, if I have nothing else to do, or if I don't have a... Uh, I guess if I have time to do it, then, I'm, then it's okay. But otherwise, he just really hated it. But I like it. Barnacle Blast from Haunted Carousel is from Satan himself. This one, however, is okay because I can use my mouse. Props to Her Interactive for allowing mouse settings. I don't even know if you can use your keyboard for this. I'll test that in a second. Can I do it? Oh, I can. I don't like that, though. Anyways, that was just for fun. Uh, I think the only way to actually exit this is to do this. Oh, shoot. Leave, leave, leave. Yes. Aww. Anyways, we've got to continue this mystery. Aggregation. Out of order. Now, that is a uh, teaser to de uh, <laughs> the Deadly Device, which is game number 27. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to Daryl Gray now. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let yeah, me know. Yeah, I agree Thanks. with you, Victoria. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Um, talk to me. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. Talk it's to me. a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. I'm just going to turn this up a little, little bit because I can hardly hear it. It's just too so. bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. <gasps> in the school? No! No! Who was murdered? Who was murdered? A senior named Jake Rogers. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it, though? That's horrible. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Oh, my gosh! 
We're that special detective. Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. I totally agree with you, Victoria. This guy's such a creep. What do you mean? Get it? Contacts? I'm wearing contacts that let me see pretty women. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I should to get say. Back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. You're so embarrassed. Bye, Bye Nancy. Get wrecked. Alright, now we shall go into the back room here. Snake this ladle. Turn over here. Watch out! Oh, no! And then look down here. And now, with the remastered version, you can actually see the gas leak. You can actually see the gas leak out of here. Look at this. You see, you see that? You couldn't see that in Secrets and Kill. I mean, this is Secrets and Kill remastered, but still. Oh yeah, so, this little thing here is, a. Uh, am guessing... Check... Yuri sighting check check checky I don't know I don't know where the family is man I mean Brooke says she'd be here she'd get home around 10 10 30 which is 9 9 30 my time I think. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, she'll be here later. And this, oh, these graphics are so much better. Maintenance room danger. Admittance to authorized personnel only. That's us, right? Oh, guess we don't know the password. And now. Connie used to be standing here, but now she is sitting over here. Cause she is the home you monitor. You're not from around here, are you? Oh yeah, Liz is here too. Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. I love how she just tells that to a stranger. Did you know our school's like totally out of control right now? Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, but did you know it's like completely crazy? We never met before. Is it that obvious? I'm not from around here. I'm a school monitor, so I have to notice these things. No, you're a hall monitor. Monitor. That just makes me think of SpongeBob right there. Things must be pretty hectic for you right now. Obviously. Once this whole thing blows over, it'll be back to the same old routine. Huh, same old, same old, what's up with you? Doesn't it concern you the murderer is still out there roaming the halls? Don't make me laugh. Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't handle myself. <laughs> Jake finally met his match. Who's Jake? Who's Jake? Jake Rogers. Jake heard he was, was a name. total sleaze. What made him such a sleaze? Jake was rude, dishonest, self-centered, and manipulative. HOV. I gotta go now. Later. V O H or O V H or H V O or O H V. Ooh, I'm scared now. I have a code on how to get an Easter egg or something. I don't know what it is, but where is it written in this book? I know it is. That's a different walkthrough. That's Blackmore Manor. Oh my gosh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, cool, cool. Pop. Spot. Grape. Oh, it's an Easter egg. Oh man. Easter egg of old Bogart. And we got like 80 coins. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Oh dude. Argle Fumph! Look at that. That's amazing right there. I mean, we all know who Argle Fumph is, right? Mr. September! <laughs> None of that weirdo PH stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's talk to the Hulk. We'll skip talking to Hal right now. We'll talk to the Hulk first. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. Now this, this design for the Hulk and even just the voice is so much better than the old one. 
I hate the old one, man. He sounds like an idiot. But this one's like, whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what Destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Shoot. Oh, I screwed up. Whatever. Fatima is the best. Argo Fomp is life. Yes, Easter egg and Michael, the picture changes. What? Who are the manatees? Paseo Del Mar's mascot is a manatee. Don't tell me you're afraid of a little sea cow. Of course not. I know what to do if I come across a manatee. Yeah, just sneeze and it'll swim away. Seriously, the manatees are a great team at a great school. Everyone is cool, except for a few punks like Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers? I knew Jake, but I didn't hang out with him. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? People will probably figure out that I'm streaming at some point, so... I posted on Twitter, like, twice. But, uh, yeah. Anyways... Now we can talk to Hal. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal <laughs> as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed Wait. in this country. Oh, that one. Oh, sorry, I, I get it now. So, what's Sorry, been going Alyssa. on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. I heard about that. I heard about that. Some kid named Jake. You had to have like 40 oh, people yeah. tell you to finally Jake realize Rogers it was Jake was Rogers. Dog, so Good one, Nancy. He created Jeez. a lot of trouble. Just a little stunned. What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say... A bully. He wasn't very popular. Really? I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. No. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. The conference He's record? He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. Whoa. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Oh, poor Hulk. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician, too. Just like his father. Just like his father. Like his faith dad. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good oh businessman. Oh my gosh, it is so hot. I'm going to open the window. Sorry, guys. Hold on one second. A few years ago. It's just... Oh! It's friggin' blistering hot in here. Holy cow. I cannot believe it. See you later. That stupid See me. You later, Didn't Nancy. go get water before the stream. Oh, I'm so smart. Hey Nancy, need something? How well do you know Daryl Gray? My favorite Nancy Drew character. Better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. Hmm. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, Ooh, and wow. drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? Favorite that Nancy Drew character. Compute. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't get compute, it compute. Daryl's family was um, rich and used to throw yeah, major wow. parties There's all the time. Um, Not anymore. Didn't I hear you were dating Jay? Oh my gosh, that hey, is hard. Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I don't know, man. I really love a lot of characters. Do you know but, Hal Tanaka? Uh, I don't Not know. Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying yeah, to get more like, scholarships Alyssa? for college. Which one Lately, is it? Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. 
Yeah. What pressure? Yeah, there's a lot of great characters. I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Oh, you obviously dated him then. Okay. I really do like Holt. Uh, he's not my favorite. I'll talk to you but, later. I mean, he's definitely Adios. one of my top favorites. I think he's just a great character. Um, but yeah, he's not That's my absolute you. favorite character. But I have a key. Um, yeah, he was definitely one of them. Uh, I really like Mason Quinto. I love Lamont from Crystal Skull. I love Abdullah, whatever his name is, from Tomb of the Lost Queen. Wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't really know who else I really like, but no, I'm not saying he was. Not, uh, you said Holt from Danger on Deception Island was one of them. That is true. He is definitely one of my top favorites. He's not my favorite, but he's definitely one of my top favorites. Jake Rogers. Thanks. Actually, you're supposed to go under my seat. No, you're not. You're supposed to go. Five two five three. Under my seat reference. There we go. Even though this is the wrong way to go. Uh, so actually, we can get another Easter egg right here. If we do this puzzle right now, we can get another Easter egg. It's super funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, where's the 13, no, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. This puzzle is unavailable at this time. As a consolation prize, please accept this Easter egg. Check back here once you've escaped the boiler trap. Love, Nancy. Woo! Oh my gosh, we just got like 80 more coins. We are so rich right now. I made 160 bucks by getting Easter eggs. I think there's a coin somewhere. Oh, right there. I thought there was one somewhere else along here, but maybe I was wrong. Whatever. We're not really supposed to look at that right now anyways. Um, uh... Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. So many Easter eggs, I know. Um, if anything happens to me, to, to me, search under my combination com combination catalog uh, all right and then I don't know there's not a whole lot to do in this game because like I said earlier this is just a remastered version of the short shortest game ever. So, yeah, 5-2, five, 5-3, five, let's look at the judo today, new judo trends, ooh. Mask Marauder flattens foes, literally flattens them, there's now pancakes. Wait, Kenzie, welcome to the stream, man, I haven't seen you in so long. Good to see you, welcome, welcome, absolutely, good to see you again. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's really funny, isn't it, Victoria? That's a complete comparison to, uh... Or contrast, sorry, to, um... Secrets Can Kill original from 1998. Okay, so we looked at that now. Oh, that's the other thing we didn't do. Actually, first of all, before we do that, let's, uh... You guys don't even know what I'm going to do right now. I don't know what to come. 
destination is. What is it? Oh, it is great, great launch. Cool. I'm so smart. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is good to hear me, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. That's funny. Uh, teach lunch. Eloise Drew. Oh, wise elder. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, male. Okay, CD ROM, not available. Recycle. Uh, passwords. Ooh. Maintenance room is note. Okay. Good to know, good to know. To do list. Okay, here's the book. What was that? Okay, that was a little scary. Um, that's in Jake's locker. Gather donation for yourself in the book, so. Alrighty, help. Oh, I know how to use the computer. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. Lights left on, 5.15 p.m. So you know what drew. Checked. Checked and locked. Sorry, back. I wanted to find out what's up. That's your place. Too much. Da, 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 da. 12 1 a.m. Heard screams from East Stairwell after the calling 911. Found a male teenager. For the details. Wow. Yeah, it's an uh, article flump. Yeah, Secrets and Kill kind of sucks. It's not a very good game. Um, however, I like the remastered version way more than I do. Uh, this looks exactly like the, the one in Jake's one. locker. Yeah, it was. It's pretty scary, Victoria. I gotta say, it scared the crap out of me the first time I played this. Just, oh my gosh, I, it made me jump, and I left this room so fast. You would, you have no idea. No, there's one there, and one there. Mr. Great is gonna. Oh what? Oh, I don't know the mil five hundred million second. Five hundred million dollars second quarter loss. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That's intense right there. Alright, I think we're done here. Oh, phone phone call. Hello? You better stop your new nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. What? Sir, you cannot just threaten me like that. Why would you Dylan do that? Heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling. How may I help you? Hi, this is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, <laughs> you did call me. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID. 25. No, I didn't. Yeah, yes, that's did. very true, Alyssa. No, it's not a stream unless I'm told that um, I'm older than I am. I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Yeah, you did. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. That's right, Nancy. Hang up on that dude. That annoying dude, man. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. <laughs> I'm very ashamed. I never sh should have told you I was 15. My family extremely unhappy about this terrible I'm 16 in September, though, Somehow, that helps. Jake found out I copied that old essay. So. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship <laughs> next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. <laughs> so that means I sound 35. Is that what everything. you're saying, Victoria? What else could I do? Just turned my 20, family happy was birthday, to Kinsey. I mean, that was like Saturday, wasn't it? To kill that was Saturday. Him. I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. 
You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Ah, oh, they were friends? How? Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Try hard. Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. No. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Do you, you just know saw why me. Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Bye. No. Nope. See you later, Nancy. <laughs> Do you feel older? Nope. Uh, let's talk to you. Hal. How's it going? Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. <laughs> I can handle my studies. I'm behind my studies. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. Jeez. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, Last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Oh, that sucks, Kinsey. All right, yeah, go, uh, go help her stomach. Why do you think she hangs out at the Jeez, gym that so much? Bad. I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Why not? Why not? Hmm, not exactly sure. You said she was having a tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. What can you tell me about Daryl My problem Gray? with this game is you have to just he constantly like cool be talking to people this the whole game. The annual football it's award so boring. There's like year. two puzzles you know, in this whole game. Three puzzles. Jake's it body. just sucks. So. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Mmm, that's debatable. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before, the and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. <laughs> You're confusing me, go. man. Bye, Nancy. Pay attention. What? Oh my gosh. If you're talking about this picture, it's stayed the same. I don't know what you're, what picture you're talking about. She's not here. Oh! That's I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways we catch each other's eyes and it seems like we both say something but we just keep walking. You with your friends and me alone. There's so much I want to say to you every time I drive to or from school. It's like you're in the car with me and we have these on conversations. Or amazing conversations and I'm thinking will this ever become true can you ever forgive me for what I did can I I want to explain but a part of me knows that's not safe and stupid to do sometimes I just can't keep it bottled inside me and I want to scream it from the rooftops is this crazy am I Wow Does, doesn't it move with him or something the one by Hulk What? I'm not into pushy girls. Do oh, wait, this one? Bother someone else? I gotta go. See ya. 
Oh! <laughs> that is so funny. Because, oh man. Because this picture somehow moves over to here. What? I had no, I had never noticed that. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. Holy cow, that is actually super hilarious. That's really cool to know, though, I gotta say. What can I do for you? Do you know Connie Watson? Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about Dude, you. Dude, your eyes are, like, not in line all the time. It's Thanks really for the scary. Compliment, but I'm <sighs> already seeing someone. I don't know, man. That's cool. I'm just saying, not playing. Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once, but I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. True know. that. Maybe I totally agree, to Victoria. We gotta. That's that's so funny. They gotta know about that if they don't already know about that. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? Yeah. Well, he's got eyebrows, but they're just so light. Russian Mango, welcome back to the stream. I'm working undercover for that the police sucks, to Kinsey. investigate oh the murder. That sucks, Kinsey. Oh my gosh. Oh. Manog is here. <laughs> Good one. Oh, I you said that. I didn't even know I said that. Detective? I thought that was just a. But seriously. I just pressed something random no in the idea. game, and that's apparently what, what I said. What else can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah. I totally got busted. You asked for it. Was it was a senior prank. What? I had to spend two days in detention. How did you ask Wasn't for it? Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts have been coming over to watch him play. He must be under a lot of pressure to perform. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring. But it'll look good it's on my college application. boring. <laughs> he kind of does look like the guy from Myth Mythbusters. That's funny. What made you decide to do a marathon? Didn't I hear that Gray um, Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? Brandon, My dad is Brooke, working really Arnold hard Hunt. to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures yeah, the like ones you that made gloating me over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. Wow. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life. And I really don't want to think about it right now. See you later. See ya. She is brute force. Did I overhear you telling Daryl that you're an undercover detective? Yep. <sighs> yes. What did I tell you about not revealing this information? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said I that. I just say in front of a live Maybe audience. He says live studio audience. I just think that's just kind of we are counting on you pathetic to, to say. Is that clear? Um, yes, very clear. But anything else? Uh. I think you should know that I got a threatening phone call from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into. And he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. How is he involved? How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just concentrate on the studies <sighs> and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take like a, a video crunchy tape? tune. No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hid it. Something like that. Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. Okie dokie. See you around. Goodbye. Oh. 
All right, so crunchy tune. Let's find a crunchy tune. Audition. Oh, oops. Oh, are you kidding me? This is a good song. That's an okay song. That's a good song. No, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's a good song. It's a very good song. I don't know. Oh, man. Okay. So now we got to go to... The library. Oh, jeez. Oh, um... Braille, and the combination was note, so 7, uh, C, or backwards C, um, light Harry Potter, and two dots. <laughs> Guys at gym. Um, oh yeah. So it's a uh... boom. Yeah, collages are pretty awesome. I do like them. Oh, Bip. Ooh, American Boiler Company. Wow. Take those gloves, just like in Secrets Can Kill. What did I just say? Um. Jeez, that was smooth, man. Holy cow. Um. I'm trying to think of what I'm supposed to do now. It's Oh, we need to talk to... Connie Watson! Hey, Nancy. Need something? Oh. Have you seen any of those weird Never finished the original one. The really? Boards? Holy cow. Yes. Like, legit? You've never actually finished it? it? He's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda is machine if, alarm. Uh, is Sky Zone in, um, an American only thing? Because if it is, and I've never been. I guess that comes with but the territory. But if Sky Zone is like a monitor. big trampoline thing, Normally then it's not uh, this yeah, I think I've been when to I one. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? Because I want go him. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Your medallion is a symbol too. that means crane, and crane oh, is the sucks. name of the judo school on the poster the in the, of the gym. One's way better than this what one. a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. Hey Nancy, need something? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. But what a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Twas fun. I'll I bet it was fun. Later. Bye Nancy. Bye. All right, let's talk to the rest of these guys. And oh, it's you, Nancy. Nothing for you to I'm say. I'm really right. embarrassed to Played see you again. for like 45 minutes. See ya. Holy cow. See you later, Nancy. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Kind of butt crap. Goodbye. Ha! Bye, Nancy. That's funny. Damn, I can only go for 20 minutes. All right, you know what? We cannot do anything else. Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm so seeing shape, someone huh? else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? So freaking well, exhausted now. Well, your uncle now. isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? <laughs> He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out. All of your coffee? What happened? Oh my gosh. I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Bye. 
Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. Ooh. It was on the counter when I got back from break. I don't know why these are like lowercase, but whatever. I have the solution to your mystery meet me in the basement of the maintenance room at the high school. From Dylan Finance. HVAC. What? That's not good. That is not good at all. Just make sure he's on here. Yeah. That is so weird. Almost died. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you didn't die though. Yep. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay, now we gotta go. One. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Nancy. Two, one, two, one. Boom. Oh! <gasps> Guys, is this the videotape? Twins, yes. What is there to look around for? Oh. Take that. I don't know why we need that, but whatever. Okay. The furnace from Christmas Story. <laughs> oh, there's no animation for walking through it. That sucks. Or crawling through. Yeah, I uh, I prefer going for walks than runs any day. Totally agree. So, how'd your date go with the mysterious note leaving guy? Let's just say he almost took my breath away. Good, so I'm still in the running for you. Daryl, I'm not interested. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Now, Marty's, See you later. I'm dating Ned. Bye, Nancy. I mean, Nancy's dating Ned. I'm not actually dating Ned. Cause that'd just be weird as weird can get. Nancy, you look terrible. What happened to you? Are you okay? It was nothing. Let's just say I ran into an old flame. Yeah. Well, suit yourself. How are things Holy otherwise? Holy cow, that sucks, Victoria. It's actually been quite cold here Darryl for mentioned the that summer. You lost it's something really last week? weird. Yes. I lost my but wallet. Your wallet? A lot of my undercover contact information is in the wallet, including yours. You can imagine what would happen if that information fell into the wrong hands. Yeah. Did you ever find it? And the it chill. Yes. Hotel room all oh, well, that's what we're doing right now. I think I was this drinking too much coffee. It's starting to affect my mind. Goodbye. See you later. I mean, I like coffee, but not so much to the point where I just drink a whole restaurant's supply of coffee. Like, oh my gosh. Wait. We gotta watch this videotape. Oh man. Drug station, heck they're not 20 milligrams, not for resale. Hulk! Oh, he looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Haha, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, it's the ninja dude. It's Connie! And it's how? Oh wait. He's copying from the English textbook. We already knew that though. Frosif is back! Wow. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, Frosif, that is so true. Oh my gosh. They totally are copying me. <laughs> that is so funny. Bring the salt. I will. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking, Russian Mango. Holy cow, like, how? That is so funny, Frosif, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't even think about it that way. Oh, man. That is so funny. Hey, Nancy. Need something? I know you're the unknown winner of that salt, judo salt, competition. Salt, salt. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. I didn't answer. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. What? Did you? What, did you ask Jake me a question? I didn't. I didn't even see it. I can't see it here. Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. What? Whoever pushed Jake down the stairs also beat him up. Someone with a black belt could have done it. 
Do you think I would give up you everything I've worked for and do a stupid <laughs> thing like that? I despised Jake, but I'd never think of killing him. I hated him, but I wouldn't kill him. I'll let you go. Adios. My favorite sport. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed uh, to see you. I love again. football. See I love later. hockey. I love see basketball. You later, Nancy. Um, I love skiing. So I think skiing is actually my favorite sport, to be honest. Uh, and then basketball, and then football, and then hockey. But uh, that's me. Oh, we didn't talk to Hal or Hulk. Shoot. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Jake knew you. Oh my gosh! Tomorrow, I'm so hyped. Holy cow! You, wasn't he? I'm gonna be making a yeah. video as soon Found as it drops. As soon as that information drops, I'm making a video about it. It would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What do you want from you, mate? Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really I bad guess. in the game a few weeks back. Broke four oh ribs gosh. and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. I needed to impress the scouts. Volleyball is okay. Then soccer is yeah, pretty good. Edmonton, it wasn't worth it because I was still Edmonton, in pain, Edmonton, Edmonton, and all like my it. free time was spent playing Aaron Boy for Jake. <laughs> Aaron Boy. Aaron Boy. The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope, so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl. Did you kill Jake? I'm not a killer, Nancy. I didn't do it. I don't really like watching sports Goodbye. that much. I mean, Bye, I do Nancy. it sometimes, but I don't really like it. I don't just sit down and do it for enjoyment. Because, I, I don't know, sports isn't really my thing, but whatever. So... Are we missing something here? Hi, Nancy. I found the videotape Jake made. It shows some students that Jake was blackmailing. Was one of the students Daryl Gray? Oh, no. I forgot. That's surprising. My intuition says that Blondie Burger Boy is involved in this somehow. A good lead, but we really need to find that journal of Jake's. <laughs> I think a student may have killed Jake because he was blackmailing him, or her. You're getting great leads, but think and may have are not good enough. We need to find hard evidence, like Jake's journal. Bye -bye. All right, we're gonna find it. Goodbye. Because I finally remember that we had to go and do another thing in the school. Something I totally forgot about. <clears throat> I already did it to get an Easter egg. That's a hint. Tis the under my seat puzzle. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Where's thirteen? Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Okay. Oh. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh! Give me that. We're gonna go and watch this video, this final video. Nay. I know who Eli Manning is, but then again, I'm also, I don't really know who he is at the same time. I don't know. I know the name, I can tell you that much. Oh, whoops. Ah! Boom, boom, boom. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. Oh, that's right. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means. But he's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch wow. Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing in HVAC does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. 
This dude, can you imagine? Uncle Steve? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. What? And Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like his contact journal. numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc., etc. And some other stuff I don't understand. But I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. Jeez. But just in case, should anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. So if you find this video, come look me up. I'll probably be long gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bot on my very own private I am playing Steam for, Steam for Danger on a disc, yes. I have a disc number download. Oh. Aunt Eloise? Is that you? Oh. Yeah, her jacket was totally copying my, uh, my stuff. They may not say it, but they're doing it. Well, oh, whoops, sorry. Shut off. Oh, give me that video. You think? Uh. Oh. <gasps> Detective Beach. Uncle Steve. I didn't expect you. I just thought I'd come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Did you find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. Yeah. My what? Oh, uh, Jake's uh, journal. Yeah, I found not Jake's yours. journal. What? No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. Oh! Why don't we step into the? Why do you have a gun? And have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse to get me to find your oh, journal. Oh, he is creepy! Holy cow! You killed Jake, didn't you? Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no. That was my former partner, Mitch Dillon. Former Let's partner? stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. Where's my journal? It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. Actually, it's really just in the school, but... It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Uh, Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. Kappa Lambda Kappa Sigma. That's not it, Nancy. Oh, sorry. Did I say that? I meant uh, Mu Phi, Mu Pi Phi Zeta. Mu Pi Phi Zeta. <laughs> You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. That's Probably is a fake gun. <laughs> uh, it's a. Uh, Oh, oh, sorry, did I say that? I meant Delta, 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 Delta. Delta, 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 Delta. Get wrecked. I lied. Hey! What the? Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be happy to transfer Okay, you know what, guys? Sorry, I gotta say, he has a gun. Okay, if I ran out, he could probably just shoot me. If I ran out, honestly. Like, for real. Another set of bars. So long, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Derek, closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top secret information has been stopped thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar proof safe. Daryl has confessed to selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage this has caused Gray Enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to win. Oh, just to watch the video, that other uh, videotape. The damage to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you Dude, soon. Dude, ransom the seven chips. Yeah, <laughs> true that, Alyssa. It was 1972, right? Yes! That's wrong, actually. Sorry, I'm so used to Trivia Tamer, which is right here being down here, so I screwed up. Uh, Ned Defender, rebuffing each amorous attempt by Daryl. We saved Ned. Yes! Easter egg, we got two of them. Super Sleuth for stooping in every corner. Jack Hughes. Uh, Following up on every lead, Jukebox Diving for, for playing every song, Money Girl for Shiny Quarters, Real Love Soft Drinks, uh, Great Grape Orange Cool. I did. Oh. Never mind. 
the last level of Barnacle Blast. How many levels are there? Like 20 or something? Yeah, the trivia is moved. I don't, I don't like that. Reading every single book. I've gone that one a couple times before. Anyways, let's watch the teaser, tra the teaser trailer for Nancy Drew, Shadow of the Water's Edge. I've always wanted to visit Japan. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities, to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns, I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, P.G. Krollmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend a few weeks without danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's horrifying. Join me in my next adventure, Shadow at the Water's Edge. Which is, a, is an amazing game, by the way. But. Huh. Remaster, remaster, original, original, original. That's funny. Huh. Well, guys, thanks for watching this stream. I will be continuing the next stream in about two minutes. Uh, and I'll be just stopping this stream and going straight to Staging for Danger. And I'll see you guys when that happens. So thanks for watching this stream, everybody. Uh, for those of you guys that are watching on YouTube, however... Uh, whoops. Um, thanks for watching this. And the next video, or next stream, which is Staging for Danger, should be up momentarily. When that is right... That is right. The first uh, the first time I ever streamed was actually uh, Shadow Shadow of the Water's Edge, uh, and that was when uh, I got that was the first time I got a whole bunch of the. Uh, uh, that's actually where I got a lot of friends from uh, from streaming. Yeah, thanks uh, thanks for the live studio audience. Thanks Alyssa for that uh, for watching. Thanks for you guys on YouTube for watching, and I'll see you guys next stream, which is in about two minutes. But for you guys on YouTube, it'll, it'll probably be in about a second. So yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.